If you're looking for mutt coins to upgrade your mutt game, go to GameRusher.com for cheap and safe mutt coins. You can use my discount code HUB, H-U-B, at the website. Use the first link in the description down below and get that upgrade to your game. What's up Giants fans, Hub watchers, YouTube subscribers, Twitter and Instagram followers. It's Kush back at it again with another Giants update video. This might be a quick one here, just some quick update news right before Thanksgiving. And I want to say to you guys, happy Thanksgiving. I know it's Wednesday and Thanksgiving's actually on Thursday. But because the day is tomorrow, I'm most likely not going to have a video out. I doubt that I'm going to do a live stream or anything because I'm probably going to be so stuffed I'll fall asleep. So I'm just giving you all the happy Thanksgiving wishes right now. Hope you guys have a, a tasty, safe, and sweet one out there, man. You know, uh, stay toasty, my friends. And so let's uh, get into the news here. This actually happened yesterday. And this is per Dan Salomon on Twitter. This actually happened around 4 o'clock in the afternoon yesterday. The Giants terminated wide receiver Corey Coleman from the practice squad and then signed tight end Nakia Griffin-Stewart. And now this is something right here that is very, very interesting to say the least because I think everybody forgot that we even re-signed Corey Coleman to the practice squad. I want to say sometime around week 7 or 8. You know, maybe, you know, just around that ballpark area. I can't even remember when. But of course, Coleman was cut on cut day before the season began. He was a fan favorite New York Giant. Fan favorite wide receiver that was supposed to do big things last year. Got injured before the season started. He was supposed to come back this year and maybe make a name for himself again. And, uh, you know, the tale of Corey Coleman is just a sad, almost tragic one. Because he never got his second chance, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? Maybe the coaching staff did not see in him. What the fans thought they saw in him and now i'm not gonna say oh i completely trust joe judge on this situation because i think the wayne gallman one is a pretty good example of them not using gallman at the beginning you know going out and getting a guy like freeman or getting out just not using gallman in the way they're using him now where he is the feature back or you know he splits good reps with another person gallman was not used that much when we initially signed Devonte freeman and it took freeman to get injured for gallman to sort of be pushed into that role and now we see how good he can be with this offensive line and how much of a straightforward uh running back he can be so that's why i'm not gonna say oh yeah i'm, I'm completely on board with this but at the same time it's like we had other wide receivers on the practice squad that made the active roster over Corey Coleman, the most notable name being uh, Alex. I was about to say Alex Mack. I was thinking Alex Bachman, and Austin Mack. Most notable name being Austin Mack, uh, CJ Board even to an extent because Board was in and out of the practice squad this entire season and he made it over Coleman again. So there are other wide receivers that are performing here. And I think, you know, we will survive without Corey Coleman. I mean, we haven't used him all season. So I see no reason why all of a sudden we're going to need him now unless knock on wood, you know, the wide receiving core just gets completely unhealthy and injury strike. But we have a good quantity of receivers there and the quality dare i say it um might be rising each week you know of course the main three and tate shepherd and slayton and finally it seems like they're getting healthy at the right part of the season of course then like i mentioned before there's austin mack then you got board who i think could even be beat out by another practice squad player like a Derek dylan or a ben victor or somebody else that you know we have on board here but Corey coleman is no longer with the Giants. I mean, that's kind of sad. He got cut just a couple days before Thanksgiving. I hope I hope he gets picked up. I, I still hope that Coleman can find his way onto some team and have a good career because he's just... I mean, this is a former first-round pick player right here, man. His career has just been riddled with injuries, man. And and then the tight end, Nakia Griffin-Stewart. I'm getting this from Giants Wire uh, right here. This uh, little piece of the article that I'm going to read because I do not know much about Nakia Griffin-Stewart. This was about 7 o'clock this morning. This is what... They got to say on the situation they say that the team announced on tuesday that coleman had been cut from the practice squad in order to make room for tight end nakia griffin stewart who was signed coleman joined the giants in 2018 under head coach pat Shermer and later missed the 2019 season due to a torn acl he returned this offseason under coach joe judge and appeared to have a solid camp to the naked eye but really was released in september and that's something i forgot to mention too he was hyped up because of what he did in 2018 and his short amount of snaps which when you go back and look at it 
was not that much. I think we were just excited for somebody other than Odell to be making plays at the position. But he was making noise in training camp this summer as well. Corey Coleman, along with Alex Bachman, who was on my mind, them two were the two best wide receivers in training camp. And they're nowhere to be seen right now. The Giants re-signed Corey Coleman to their practice squad in October, but he never managed to make it back on the field on game day. When Caden Smith on the reserve and COVID-19 list, the Giants needed an extra body at tight end, which led to this roster shuffle and arrival, arrival of Griffin Stewart. And that's another good point right there. But they're definitely going to need somebody to come into the tight end spot. Now, I don't think Griffin Stewart is going to fill in for Caden Smith, you know, to say that. I think it's going to be Levine Toilolo who moves up. So, and then um, it's going to be this Smith guy coming in for Levine Toilolo's spot. So everybody's just shifting up one. But then another interesting thing is, and I would have to double check this, I don't have it up in front of me, but do we not still have Rice and John on our roster, on our practice squad? Why didn't we shift up our Rice and John? So do they not have faith in the tight end that we would have on the practice squad here? We have to go out and get somebody else. The article says Griffin Stewart spent three seasons at Rutgers before transferring to Pittsburgh in 2019. The 6 foot 5, 260 pound tight end was signed by the Minnesota Vikings as an undrafted rookie or released after training camp. He also had a brief cup of coffee, <laughs> coffee with the Green Bay Packers. Uh, that's that's funny. Uh, the, the guy that does the interviews for the Giants official YouTube channel, he says that a lot. I, I forgot his name. He's, he's the old dude. He, he sits down with the players. I forgot. Anyway, that was just funny. But this size right here is telling us to maybe why they didn't bring up somebody like Rice and John. John, while a tall receiving threat, might not be that good in blocking. <laughs> you talk about 260 pounds. I think they're definitely bringing this guy in for blocking. They're, they're definitely going to try and run what they've been doing the past couple of weeks mostly. That's a lot of heavy tight end sets, especially against the Eagles game. And a big reason as to why Gallman had a successful day against the Eagles was because we were doing a lot of two tight end sets, a lot of just heavy blocking schemes, and we would need somebody around this size to do that. Levine Toyolo is also a heavy blocking tight end. I think our only receiving threat this game from that position might be Evan Ingram. You know, maybe Tololo has some hands on it, but it's gonna be Evan Ingram for the most part. Um, I just hope that they don't overuse him like they've done before and then it comes back to bite us in the butt. But let me know what you guys think about this quick update for y'all. Griffin Stewart, man, that's a that's one hell of a name. Put your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think. Should we have cut somebody else to make space for this tight end? Should we have just promoted somebody that was already on our practice squad? Why is Corey Coleman getting cut? Is he not what he thought he was? Is he not completely healthy? Is it something completely unrelated? And uh, what do you think about the move in general? Put your thoughts down below. Don't forget, check out the new Christmas merch, Sack the Halls and the Wayne Train, and I'm out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'll catch y'all in the next one.